great treat for you guys. Our next guest is an Emmy Award winning actor. You know him from Big Little Lies and also True Blood. Love True Blood. Please welcome Alexander Skarsgård. sock game. He's winning the he's sock winning game for it. sure. He's got it. He's got yeah, it. they're purple. <laughs> yeah. We know we know you had a big premiere last night. That George is that that's yours, George. Oh, am I so still I, your I got your yeah. coffee here. <laughs> you go. I got yours there. Your coffee, George. <laughs> so we know you had a big uh, premiere last night and this is you really got to be a little, little tired. Yeah, so I'd appreciate if we could just dim the lights a bit and <laughs> <laughs> play some smooth jazz maybe. Oh, you can just relax, yeah. And, right? Well, yeah, we we had the premiere last night. So I'm uh, I'm a little tired, but we had a good time. It was worth it. Oh, great. Hey, you know what it also is? It's Throwback Thursday. Mm. That's when we like to go into the vault. <laughs> so, um, we were thinking, our friend, about the first American film, Zoolander. Yeah. <laughs> yes! There you are. <laughs> is it true that you just went to the audition for fun? You just went to the audition for fun? Yeah, yeah, I was. <laughs> I've seen that in a while. I, I was, uh, I just started acting, and I was uh, doing theater in Stockholm. And my my father, who's also an actor, was shooting a movie in L.A. And I was visiting, and his, I was obviously didn't have representation out there. But his agent asked, like, "Well, you're in town. Would it be fun to go to an audition? Do you think that'd be interesting?" And I was like, "Yeah, it'd be a great story to tell my friends back home." And it happened to be for that movie, and. Um, Two weeks later, I was riding around like in, on Broadway with Ben Stiller shooting. And, but he also gave me kind of a warped idea of Hollywood and how, because I remember after that, I was like telling my friends back in Sweden, I was like, it's a piece of cake. You just like, <laughs> you go to LA and then you just walk into a room and Ben Stiller's there and you like have a little chat. And then next thing you know, you're like, they're flying you to, to New York to shoot. And, nice gig. Okay. So then, yeah. And then it took three years till I got my next job. So, oh, wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> But it's but that was a, that was a great job. And also, <laughs> talking about Throwback Thursday, my I went to college here, and my first apartment was on which, which, that's 44th, right? Yeah, here, right? right. Yeah. In that building. No, no way. Across I, was, the I lived on Times Square, which for wow. some I, I like. Yeah, How'd you, you make shocked. that choice? <laughs> I thought it was a great idea at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know New York at all, yeah. and um, so I was. I just looked at a map, and I was like, I found this in um, this. Uh, it was basically a closet in a dude's apartment in here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's perfect because it's so central. Because I just looked up the subway map and I was like, oh, like they all intersect. Like this is like the hub. <laughs> and I wanted to be like, I was like, I'm in New York for the first time. Like this is great. And so I spent six months here. Wow. Um, yeah, fun to visit. Not <laughs> great, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great to live. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what's great? Watching Big Little Lies. Yes. <laughs> Season two, and Meryl Streep plays your mother. Yeah, I believe it's Meryl Streep. <laughs> Meryl Streep? Uh, no, I don't know how to pronounce her name really, but yeah, that, <laughs> I hear she's wonderful. Oh, yeah, Very so you talented. Gave, yeah, yeah, you know, just you know, a couple of nominations here and uh, there. But did you give her some? Did you show her the ropes? Uh, well, I, uh, yeah, it was quite. So I almost worked with her a couple of years ago uh, on a movie. I was very excited. She was gonna. We, I had a scene in the movie with her, and then I show up on set, and that's kind of the reason I wanted to do the movie because mm -hmm. to work with Meryl Streep. Um, and then I show up on set, and she's a hologram in the scene. It's a sci-fi. So like, literally, she's not on set. You don't even get to meet her. She's in <laughs> London. So. <clears throat> so I made sure uh, uh, to actually. Uh, I can't reveal too much about season two, but I was on set. Um, and I got to meet Mel Street. Oh, that's, okay. that's all you can do. Yeah. Okay. Let's we'll talk. That. And I might, maybe, potentially got to work with her as well. Okay. But, yeah. Let's talk about Hold the Dark. Yeah. So you play uh, a soldier returning from Iraq whose son has gone missing and found dead. Well, what, what drew you to the role? Um, well, I've, Jeremy Saunier, the filmmaker, is an extraordinary. He did Blue Ruin and Green Room, two, two films that I've loved 
Christ. So I was very excited to read his script and oh, written by Macon Blair, his friend. Um, and it's just a fascinating story. It's um, uh, it's very complex. It's very meditative. It's very violent, um, and is also a character that I was uh, deeply fascinated by. Um, it's brutal um, and heartbreaking, but and, and very intense. But um, uh, there was no way I could say no to that. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's take a little look. My teacher said it's bad to kill people. Yeah, you'll hear that a lot. So it's good? If you have to. Why? To protect what you love and what you need. Explaining killing to a little boy, not easy. Yeah. <laughs> but you also, you, you shot another movie recently, and you had a very interesting haircut. I remember seeing this going, boy, this is something. Maybe you're looking for a new look. We have a picture of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What, what, is that, do you miss the cut? Well, it was, I kind of enjoyed it. I really did. <laughs> uh, it, it looked a bit weird on days off when I did, wasn't on set because when we shot, they obviously put makeup on it and made it look real. But uh, on, when I wasn't on weekends, it like I had a little stubble up here and the hairline was very straight. So it, it didn't look like I was bald. It just looked like I went through a mental, like, I don't know, something <laughs> that I just got, went and lost it and shaved my head. So, um, but yeah, other than that, I loved it. Yeah. I tell you what, we love having you here, man. Thank and you. good luck with the movie. The movie is Hold the Dark. It premieres on Netflix tomorrow. Make sure you check it out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.